Hello, hello. Hey, Victor, how are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. I'm sorry to be a little late, but I had some problem with the internet. Hey, Rodrigo. Okay. Rodrigo, how are you? How are you, teacher? Fine, fine. Always ready? <laughs> yes. Okay. Always I'm ready. Okay. Okay, every, everybody, welcome. Welcome to Juan Alfonso, my Carlos. Hello, uh, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Good. Uh, Juan Alfonso, listen, um, I send you a message with the with the telephone numbers of the of the uh, co-workers in the technical area. Juan Alfonso. Okay, teacher. Yes. So you can you yeah. can call them because I I mean I don't have the power. <laughs> Sorry. Yes. Sí, ya me contestaron y ya me van a ayudar. Es que le comento, me, me cambiaron el, la unidad móvil y ah, se okay. me reinició todas las aplicaciones que tenía. Oh, sorry, but okay. First, guy, you can you can contact again the group, right? Okay, so let, let's start right now. I will start with the PowerPoint presentation. Some news for today: um, we have classes tomorrow. We're going to make the middle term. And today we're going to, the middle term, sorry, test, sorry. And today we're going to finish with section number three, right? So section one, two, and three. So you have to cover the three se sections, sorry, in the, in the platform, right? For the moment. And tomorrow I say we're going to check the test together, right? Good. Now let's start with the PowerPoint presentation. Okay, here we are. We're going to learn a conversation. The name of the conversation is It's Pretty Safe, right? Uh, we're going to see uh, work sorry and and see quantifiers a little um, many much a few a lot etc etc quantifier right and we're going to learn how to make questions with how many for countable nouns and how much for non count nouns right okay this so this is the class for today Now let's start with the lesson objective, right? Let me see who's going to read for me. Um, Janari, please. Hello, Janari. Can you read the, the lesson objective, please? Okay, teacher. In this section, participants will follow a conversation about a neighborhood, taking into account questions like how many how much with quantifiers? Very good. That's it, right? And let's see. Vocabulary, right? Convenient, noise, downtown, crime, in fact, safe. Hold on. Please repeat after me. Convenient. Noise. Downtown. Crime. In fact. Safe. Hold on. Good. Now, do you have questions about the, the use of this vocabulary? Questions? Do you understand all the words? Teacher, yes? what is in fact? In fact means en, en verdad, la verdad es que. Uh-huh. That's the oh, meaning. De hecho, ¿verdad? De hecho, ajá, that's it. De hecho, uh -huh. la verdad, la situación es, ajá, in fact. 
right? For example, uh, this year, 2020, uh, the weather was very strange. In fact, listen, in fact, we have rain today. Now in my house is raining. In December, can you imagine? Just, uh, hmm? yes? In my house too. And your house is raining too. Oh, well, you see? The weather is crazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, uh, I have a new student. Sorry, Carlos Cruz. Hello, Carlos Cruz. Welcome. Hello, teacher. Welcome. My name is Javier Gomez. Thanks. This is the first time you are in the class, Carlos. In this class, yes, yes. Ah, because okay. I have many Joe all ah, days. Okay, good. But so welcome. I will copy your name in the, my list, right, Carlos Cruz. But you're working in the platform. Carlos está trabajando en la plataforma. Uh, yes. Ah, okay, good. Yes. That's it, right? So always we have a lot of work to do, right? But thanks for joining the class and welcome. Now, so any question about vocabulary? No questions? So here we go. Let's continue, right? Then we have this conversation. It's pretty safe. Look, this is a neighborhood and we have Nick and Pam talking on the phone, right? And Nick says, how do you like your new apartment? And Pam, Pam says, I love it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. Uh, downtown, said Nick. Is there much noise? No, there isn't any. I live on the fifth floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot. In fact, there is an excellent Korean place just around the corner. What about parking? Well, there are many parking garages, but I usually find a place on the street. Is there much crime? No, it's pretty safe. It's pretty safe. Hold on. That's my car alarm. I'll call you back later. Okay, well, it's not that pretty safe. Eh? Good, it's very no. safe. <laughs> uh -huh, yes, it's like. San Martín, Popa, Mexicanos, Cuscatancingo, Ciudad Delgado. <laughs> okay, we have many dangerous places in El Salvador, right? Okay, good. Uh, now, please listen and repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. How do you like your new apartment? How do you like your new apartment? I love it. I love it. It's downtown. It's downtown. So it's very convenient. So it's very convenient. Downtown? Downtown? Is there much noise? Is there much noise? No, there isn't any. No, there isn't any. I live on the fifth floor. I live, on, I live the on the fifth floor. Fifth floor. Fifth floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? How many restaurants are there near your place? Carlos Cruz, podría cerrar su micrófono, por favor. Okay, thank you, thank okay. you, Carlos. Sorry, Carlos. Uh, Carlos is new, that's the reason. <laughs> Sorry, Carlos. Vamos a parar un ratito para que escuchemos los demás. Okay, thank you, Carlos. Okay, now let's continue, right? Uh, please, everybody, repeat. A lot. In fact, there is an excellent Korean place just around the corner. What about parking? Well, there aren't any parking garages. But I usually find a place on the street. Is 
Is there much crime? No, it's pretty safe. Hold on, does my car alarm? I'll call you back later. Good, now in this conversation class, uh, we have some words that we call quantifiers, right? For example, when I say much, right? When I say many, right, much and many, right? Uh, when we say a lot, when we say, for example, um, many again, right? Much again, right? So uh, what are the quantifiers for? Why do you use quantifiers? Well, we use quantifiers to describe a number or a quantity of something, right? But you don't know the specific quantity. For example, if you, if you know, you know there are 20 cars, for example, there are 20 cars, but if you don't know, maybe, well, there, maybe there are 17, maybe there are 22, I don't know. So you can say there are many cars, right? So with the word many, you are telling a quantity, but it's not an, it's not an exactly quantity, right? So that's the reason we say uh, quantifiers. Uh, and other example, uh, quantifier is few, for example, right? And then if I see three cars, I can say there are a few cars because only three cars, right? Three cars only, okay? Good, that's it, right? Uh, I don't know if you have any extra question about the conversation. No questions? Okie dokie, now let's continue, please. Let's continue with the, the second part, right? In the second part, we're going to uh, learn about this, right? Please read the, the objective, please. Silvia Roxana, please, can you read the objective, Silvia? Hello, Silvia. Okay, so. Uh, who's going to help me? Um, Alejandro, please. Hello, Alejandro. Can you read the, the objective, please, for the second part? Yes, teacher. Hello. Hello. Welcome. Thanks. Okay. Read, please. In this session, we will take a look at quantifiers to ask questions and give, give the answers. Thank you very much. Quantifier, right? And make questions. How much? How many? Right? Good. Now let's start uh, with this part. Look. Uh, to start, let me tell you what are countable nouns. You, you know about this, right? You, you were learning this in, in, in basic, basic, right? You were working with in basic about this, right? And then we have some examples, right? Lettuce, butter, milk, those are uh, non-count nouns, right? Or non-countable nouns, right? Or, or you can say uncountable nouns, right? So they are no separable and you cannot count them. You cannot say one, two, three, four. No, no, you cannot say that, right? Mm -hmm. You cannot say one milk, two milks, three milks. <laughs> no, and incorrect, right? And also, uh, they are, there are no singular or plural, right? No, they are only one form, right? So we have these examples. Let us is, and you use is all the time. Let us is very expensive. Butter is very expensive. Milk is very expensive. Chicharron is very expensive, right? You know, for, to make the pupusas. <laughs> So it's not countable, right? Okay. Then we have other examples like apples, carrots, onions. You know onions? <laughs> you cry when you cut them. Good. Now, in this case, we can say uh, one apple is, one carrot is, one onion is. But you can also use the verb to be in, in 
plural and you say are, right? Apples are, carrots are, onions are. So apples are very expensive, carrots are very expensive, onions are very expensive. And here we have an example how to use quantifiers with countable and non-count nouns. For example, you can say a little salt. Then in Spanish means un poquito de sal, right? A little salt. Some people is so uh, superstitious, right? And they say, no salt for me, no. Don't spill the salt. <laughs> okay. Then a little sugar, a little honey. Mm -hmm. So these are non cons So in non count nouns, you're going to use, for example, this is just an example, a little, right? For non count, a little, right? When they, it's not a big quantity, you know? Then you're going to use a few with countable nouns, potatoes, nuts, raisins, right? So we use um, a few. Can we say a little potatoes? No. Can we say a few sugar? No, we cannot, right? So little is just for non-count and a few is for count now, right? Okay, good. Talking about honey means miel, right? Miel. Nuts, it's semillas, right? Nuts. And raisins are pasas, right? Raisins. Yes, pasas. Okay, good. Any questions so far? Questions, questions for the moment? Excuse me, teacher. Yes, tell me, Rodrigo. When you are uh, referenced uh, and used, uh, add a few, but uh, potato, but a small potato, what do you say? Ah, like you say, small potato, he says. So. Uh-huh, it's small or big, right? Yeah. Uh-huh, but those are for countable, right? For example, okay. you cannot say a, a big water or, or a small water. No, you say a little. That means Please it's a, add a little, but a little potatoes. No, 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 no. <laughs> How do you mean? You can say if the potatoes are small, add some small yeah. potatoes. Uh -huh. But if they are mash, smash, you know, smash yeah. potatoes. So in this case, you can say a little. Little, okay. Uh, because if, if it is a uh, smashed potato, right? Uh, how do you say that in Spanish? A smashed potato is a uh, puré de papa, right? Puré, puré. Puré, uh -huh. but in that case, yes. You can say a little. A because, little. Because it's not countable, right? It's not okay. countable. Good. Good, good, but, thanks. Uh, remember, a little for not countable, a few for, for countable, right? Just keep in mind, right? Keep in mind that. Good, now let's continue, right? Oops, I, I copied the explanation at, at the end. So use quantifier with countable and non-countable nouns, this is right? Good, now, let's go to the next part, right? We use the next quantifiers, a lot, a few, many, any, and none with countable noun, right? Here we have some example, right? Jack mentioned it, few things during the discussion, few things, one thing, two things, three things, countable things, right? Okay, now there aren't many commodities in the fair, right? In the fair, in la feria, there aren't many, okay? Good, this is for negative, notice that many is for negative, right? Then few people attending the program, few people. Oh, we can say a lot of people attended the English class, right? Huh? There aren't any apples in the fridge. Sorry, because I love apples. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. <laughs> so there aren't any apples in the fridge. We visited many places during the vacation. Many people like this movie. Uh, you have to remember a lot of things. Good. So things, commodities, uh, people, apples, places, and well, things again, right? Uh, are countable. I mean, you can count people. You can say one person, two people, three people, 
Well, you can count them, right? Uh, you can count apples, one apple, two apples, three apples, etc., etc., right? And places, one place, two places, three places, etc., etc. So those words, a lot, a few, many, any, and none are used for countable nouns. And especially, especially, listen, a few and many are exclusive for countable noun, right? Understand? A few and many. Of course, you can use a lot, any, and none. But a few and many are only, only for countable noun, right? Good. Now, let's continue with the next example, right? The chair. Yes, tell me. I have a question. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Uh, what, what's the meaning commodities? Ah, uh, commodities, commodities, right? Okay. Like, like, you know, Pero... it's, a, it's una feria. So uh, there are no, no sofas, there are no air conditioning, there is only commodities. Hmm? Okay. It's accountable. Ah, yes, of course. Accountable. Okay, good. Thank you, thank you. Now, we use a lot, a little, much, any, and none with non countable nouns. Alice had a little juice and nothing else. Al La Lana is a name, right? Alana was a little worried, right? A little worried, you know, because of the hurricanes. Yota, Eta. <laughs> okay, a little worried. Give me a lot of water. Yes, I love water, right? I love water. Okay. Uh, Teacher. Uh, yes. Tell ¿Qué me? pasa con las medidas de cantidad como un litro? Ah, uh, okay. So you say un litro, uh, right, Juan Alfonso? Um, metros cúbicos. I uh, know. Uh -huh. I know. So, but we, you say a, un litro. So when you say un litro, a, lit, a litro, right? Okay. You are, you are giving a number to a non-countable noun, right? For example, I can say one liter, uh, one liter, sorry, uh, two bottles of water, two tanks of water. So you okay. are counting the containers. Okay? Yes. Understand? Or in this case, the measure, la medida, the measure. But not the not only the water, right? Only the water is not countable. Like, like when you talk about meat, for example, right? Chicken, chicken meat is not countable. Fish meat, beef meat, you know, moo, eh, pio pio, oing oing. <laughs> Uh, you know, pink. Igual con una libra de papas. That's okay. But in this case, you're talking about two potatoes and one pound of potatoes. Both are countable. The potatoes and the, and the measure y la medida, right, are countable. You know, because when you say one meter, one pound, one, one liter, one et cetera, et cetera. So those are measurements, medidas, right? And the measurements are exactly, son exactos, and they are countable, right? Understand? Because in that case, you can say, for example, uh, two bottles of water, three bottles of water. So you, you quantify by the measure or the container. Podemos cuantificar el, el contenedor o la medida, right? But not the noun, pero no el nombre en sí. Understand? Like I, yes, I was telling you, uh, the meat, for example, right? You can say uh, the meat, the, the pio pio, the oin oin, the mu mu. So you can say uh, meat, a little meat, for example, a lot of meat, okay? But if you say one pound of beef meat, for example, right? It's countable. Or the animal, right? Or los animalitos antes de matarlo, right? <laughs> you can say one cow, two cows one chicken, two chickens, but when they become meat, cuando lo hacemos carne, lo hacemos pedacito, right? So we, we, we can say that those things are no countable, right? Okay? Good. Now let's continue, right? There isn't much water in the bottle. You are looking a little salty. Be a little patient. Be a little patient. Right now, look. A lot, a little, much, any, and none are used with non-countable nouns. 
but a little and much are exclusive for non-countable noun. A little and a lot are, ex no, 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 sorry, excuse me. A little and much, a little and much are exclusive for non-countable noun, right? For example, you cannot say a little mango. No, 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 no. Or you cannot say much, much mangoes, much tomatoes, right? Much sunsas, right? You cannot say that. Much nisperos, <laughs> okay? No, this is exclusive for non conto. You can say much water. In Christmas, for example, much muñekov, much petrol, right? <laughs> it's not appropriate in Christmas, right? Because it's much, because those are non countable now, right? Okay, and the words a lot, any, and none can be used in both. Look, a lot, any, and none can be used in both, right? Countable and not countable now, right? Good. Any questions so far? Questions, questions? Okay, let's continue, so. Okay, we use, uh, how many with countable nouns? Sorry, give me a second, I have a message. Later, we're going to make this. Uh, okay, me dicen algunos compañeros que tienen internet inestable, ¿verdad? Que primero Dios puedan conectarse. Más, otro ratito, okay. Now, let's continue. How many with countable nouns, right? And how much with uncountable nouns or non-countable nouns? It's the same, right? For example, how many apples do you eat? Not many, just two, I think. How many cows live in your father's farm? Not many. So notice that apples and, and mumus, cows, right? Those are countable things, right? Then how much? How much did your jacket cost? So we're talking about the price, not about the coins or the bills, right? No estamos hablando de las monedas ni de los billetes. We're talking about money or, or cost, right? In this case, uh, so money or or prices in this case are not countable. And he says, not much. I got it on sale last year, right? Good. Now, any question about how many and how much? Questions? No questions? Okay. Now, uh, yes, yes Ana Maria, tell me, uh, Ana Maria. Eh, con how much? Eh, porque como en la pregunta que está de ejemplo dice cuánto cuesta uh -huh, tu it. chaqueta o cuánto te costó la chaqueta, algo así. Yes. Pero eso se puede contar o no? O yo le entendí. No, 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 más. no, wait. You can count bills and coins but no money no money money is no countable understand so you can say how much money the only thing you can count is for example uh, one dollar two dollars three dollars etc that's correct you can count that but in general money is not countable or the cost the cost of something right el, cost, el valor de algo is no countable, mm -hmm. right? That's uh, why you understand? Yes. So they're asking about the cost. Yes. I'm hablando de cost, right? Mm -hmm. okay? okay? Good. Thank you, Ana Maria. Now, please. Uh, uh, so I will repeat this, and I have a friend. Uh, I have a guest tonight. You know, tengo un invitado esta noche eh, que le, nos va a repetir esta, esta oración para que no se nos olvide, okay? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Dino, right? Hello, everybody. Okay. 
I will remind you that how many is for countable nouns. Countable. And how much is for uncountable or non-countable nouns. Don't forget that, guys. Never forget that. Bye-bye. Okay, that was the, the guest for tonight. Don't, don't forget that, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's my guess. <laughs> okay, now, any extra Select question? Dish. Any extra question? No questions? So, it's my turn, right? I make the question now, right? Yes, teacher. ¿Cómo se llama el invitado? Dino, Dino. He's Dino, right? Dino the dinosaur. Okay. Now, uh, I will make the questions, right? And you, you're going to uh, uh, answer the question, right? And listen, you can use... Attention. Ah, we have a fetal license. That's too, right? <laughs> okay, good. Now, uh, Rolando, that's your dog, Rolando. Yes, right? That is your dog, Rolando. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yes, yes. Now, Rolando's dog is learning English too, right? <laughs> good. Now, uh, listen, I need you to pay attention, right, in the things that are countable and the things that are not countable, right? For example, number one, parking. Do you think parking is countable or not countable? Parking. Countable. Sorry? Countable. Mm, no. You, no can countable. Countable. you can count the spaces. For example, one parking, two parking. You can count the spaces where a car can park, right? But parking in general, right? You know, parkeo is not countable, right? That's the reason, pay attention, we say much, right? So when you when I, you answer, I need you to tell me uh, examples like that, right? For example, if it is not countable, you can say uh, there is a little or the, there is a lot or there isn't much, uh, okay? Or there is none, no hay ninguno, right? No hay ninguno o no hay nada. No hay nada, right? There is a none. Okay? Good. Now, uh, let me see. Who's going to start? Um, Alejandro. Hello, Alejandro. So, is there much parking in your neighborhood, in su colonia, Alejandro? Is there much parking? So you can answer or yes or no, right, Alejandro? Yes, teacher. Uh, uh -huh. Yes, is there? Yes, there is. Yes, there is much. There is. Mm, okay, sorry. Uh, I didn't mention this, right? No lo mencioné, pero now I'm going to tell you. Much is used for negative, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. So you, you can say, there isn't much. But if you say, eh, hay bastante, hay bastante parqueo, you say, there is a lot. There is a lot. Understand? So a lot is yes. to say, eh, para decir que hay bastante parqueo. Y para decir que no hay parqueo, no hay mucho parqueo, you say, there isn't. No much. Okay. Oh, there, is there isn't much. Uh -huh. So again, Alejandro, is that is there much parking? Yes. Je, there is a, a, lot. a lot. There is a lot. Excellent. Very good. Thank you, Alejandro. Now, Josue. Hello, Josue. Welcome. Uh, are there many apartment buildings in your neighborhood, Josue? Or in your city? Where do you live, Josue? You live in, in, in San, San Salvo, right? We live in Coco. Good evening. Uh -huh. Where do you live, Josue? I live, I live in Santa Tecla. Santa Tecla. Santa Tecla is beautiful, right? Now, are there many apartment buildings in Santa Tecla, eh, Josue? Yes, of course. Uh -huh. In the 
for Hospital San Rafael. Uh -huh. you, yeah, I know. I have a. I saw the construction. Uh, I know. So you say that there are. There are. How do you. There say? are. Bast bastantes. Eh, for there are. Uh -huh. a, there little, are. a little or a lot? Or a few? Mm, a few. A few. Okay. So there are a few apartment buildings. Now, again, Josué, I will make the question again. Ah, uh, Josué, I, are, are there many apartment buildings in Santa Tecla? There are a few. Yes, there are buildings. a few. Uh -huh. There are a few apartment buildings. Okay, good. So, uh, hay poquito, ¿verdad? Pero, pero sí hay. There are a few. Yes. There are a few apartment buildings. Okay, good. Now, question one is for no contable and question two is for contable, right? In number one, we can say a lot. We can say uh, a few. We can say uh, none. We can say, um, no, no, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Excuse me, I made a mistake. Again, zzz, review, right? Retrasar, así como retrasamos los cassettes. Zzz. Okay, much, for much, number one, you say, a lot, a little, much, none, any, right? We can use these quantifiers. For number two, apartment buildings, you can say a lot, a few, many, none, and any, right? Understand? Okay, now let's go to number three. Uh, Abel, hello Abel, welcome. Number three, how much traffic is there in, where do you live, San, uh, Abel? Do you live in Santa Tecla too? Uh, no, teacher. I live in Soyapango. Ah, Soyapango, of course. The city of the traffic. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes. Abel, yeah. So, how much traffic is there in Soyapango? Uh... You can say there is or there isn't. There, there is. Mm -hmm. There is. Okay, I will, I will show you the examples. Listen, I will show you. Yes. The All right. Uh, this is for 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 conto, right? Uh, there is few. No, no, no. Wait, wait a minute. Traffic, right? No, traffic is this. Excuse me. There is a little traffic. There is a lot traffic. There isn't much traffic. Okay? Give me a second. Give me a second. Uh-huh. Yes. A lot. Much. A little. Right? You can use all of these. Abel. Now, let's go to, okay. the, let's go to the question. How much traffic is there in Soyapango? Uh, there is much traffic. There, okay, wait, wait, sorry. You say much in negative, right? You can say there isn't much traffic, for example, right? There isn't much Okay. No hay mucho tráfico, right? The sentence is correct, Abel. Las, la oración sería correcta, yes. There isn't much traffic, correct. Okay. But, Pero en la vida real no es correcto, porque si sí hay tráfico en Soyapango. ¿Cómo diría usted, hay mucho tráfico? How much traffic is there in Soyapango? ¿Cómo diría usted, hay mucho tráfico? There is? Yes, there is. Uh... Bueno, le vamos much. a poner un No, 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 listen. Le... Es que, sorry, es que teacher, que me acabo de conectar. No, no, ah, ok, a ver, sorry, es que no, no he visto los ejemplos, sí. Sí, yeah, sorry, sorry. No, no, ok, eh, para, para, eh, con, no, perdón, para no contable, right, es que siempre se me abre la, la incorrecta, para no contable, para lo, las cosas que no son contables, como el tráfico, podemos hacer a little, right, entonces, si usted, okay, quiere, a little. Por, si usted quiere decir que hay poquito tráfico, usted va a decir, there is a little traffic in Soyapango, right? 
Si usted quiere decir que no hay mucho tráfico, tiene que usarlo en negativo. There isn't much okay. traffic. There isn't much traffic. Pero si quiere, si quiere decir que hay bastante tráfico en Soyapango, usted va a decir, a lot of. there is a lot. There is a lot. There is a lot. Siempre va a usar a there is, of. there is, right? Ok. Ok. Ahora sí, ya, ya más o menos. Eh. Yes, yes, teacher, sorry. Perdón que lo agarré ahí en curva, ok. No, come on. So, no, no hay problema. Ok, y there is a lot of traffic. Cling, correct, right? Good. Now, let me thank see. You, You're welcome. No, thank you. Thank you, right? Hoy vamos a estrenar a, eh, a un nuevo estudiante, Carlos Cruz. Vamos a ver si. Este tema está difícil, Carlos, pero vamos a ver si usted nos responde ahí. Ok, Carlos. How many dance clubs? Uy, qué feo este tema. Bueno, digamos, voy a borrar este. Lo saqué de un libro, pero es que, es que en otros países. Perdón, qué vergüenza. Pero es... Interesting. No, please, please. Tirando más leña al fuego, ¿verdad, Rolando? Interesting teacher. Se lo juro que está en el libro. Vamos a ver las cinco, ¿verdad, Carlos? No problem. Qué vergüenza, qué vergüenza. No, Carlos, number five. Is there much noise? Is there much number four, teacher? Oh, no, please. I know, I number four, please. No, no, no. no. Come on, ustedes quieren que me regañen los jefes, ¿verdad? No. no, please. Vámonos a las cinco, mejor. Ok, Carlos, please, can you help me, Carlos? Is there much noise? Uh, for example, Carlos, where do you live, Carlos? No, it's sort of ruido. Ruido. Ajá. Uh -huh. Uh, Ruido. Okay. Uh -huh. Where do you live, Carlos? Santa Tecla. Santa Tecla. Oh, Santa Tecla is beautiful. So, so uh, is there much noise in Santa Tecla, Carlos? No, it isn't much. There isn't much, correct. No, there isn't much, correct, right? Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. No, there isn't much. Bueno, Carlos, en algunas áreas, ¿va? porque en la del, área de, del, del mercado sí es un poquito ruidoso, ¿ves? nada más. Pero Santa Tecla es bien bonito, hay muchas colonias bien bonitas. Ok, so, there isn't much noise. Good, number six. Rodrigo, please. Are there many pay phones? Where do you live, Rodrigo? Where do you Santa live? Tecla. Everybody lives in Santa Tecla, come on. Que envidia, right? Now, are there many pay phones in Santa Tecla, eh, Rodrigo? Yes, there are a few no. pay phones. Uh, no, but in this case, you can say, uh, yeah. hay muchos, hay muchos teléfonos oh. de... Mm -hmm. Yes, the yeah, there are a lot. Or, or, the, uh -huh. the reality is, is there is are a, a few, right? None or a few. So you can say, listen, es que cuesta, también es cuestión de lógica, Rodrigo. Vamos a decir así. No, there aren't many. No, there aren't many. There are. Y ahí es donde usted usa a few, porque usted quiere usar a few, ¿verdad? Yeah. Porque la pregunta sería, ¿hay muchos teléfonos? No, no hay muchos. Hay unos cuantos. ¿Ok? Ok. Again, again. Yeah. Are, there yes. many, are there many payphones in Santa Tecla, Rodrigo? No, there are in a few payphones. There are, no, wait. No, there aren't many. Ah, there aren't many pay, uh, payphones. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, there aren't many payphones. Now, there are? There are a few. Excellent. Very good. Thank you, okay. Rodrigo. Thank okay. you. This topic is difficult. Van a disculpar que este tema sí está difícil, but come on, we can do it. Victor, please help me, Victor. Is there much pollution? Where do you live, Victor? Victor? A popa, teacher. A popa, okay. Is there yes. much pollution in a popa, Victor? Yes, there is a lot. Excellent. There is a lot, right? Good. Now, next one. Let me see. Uh, Mai, please. Mayra, how many swimming pools? Uh, are they, where, where do you live, Ma, Ma, Mayra? Where do you live? 
I live in Colonia Metropolis. Metropolis, ah, yes. You're my neighbor. Si usted es la parte donde yo vivo, aquí vivo en Sacamil, right? <laughs> so, Metropolis. Uh -huh. neighbors. Okay. We're neighbors. So, my, how many swimming pools are there in, in Metropolis? Uh, no, no, there are many pools. There aren't? There aren't. Uh, there aren't many pools. Many pools. Then swim pools. Okay. Oh, listen, you can say there are none. There are none. There are none. Uh -huh. None. Like, like, like this. No. Look, I will show you. None. Uh -huh. Ninguna. Ah, uh, okay. There are. There are none. 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 There are none. There are none. La más cercana okay. que nos quede en la satélite, ¿verdad? La satélite, Ay, yes. No, no, ya no es parte de la metrópole. No. Okay, good. So now I will repeat. Is there much parking? You can say, uh, yes, there is. Uh, let me see. No, there isn't. There isn't much parking, right? Are there many apartment buildings? Yes, there are a lot apartment buildings, right? Or you can say there are in, there aren't any apartment building. How much traffic is there? There is a lot. Oh, there is a little. How many dense clubs? Oh, sorry, how many? <laughs> is there much noise in San Salvador, for example? Uh, yes, there is a lot. There is a lot. So in to summarize, right? Listen, we can say a lot, any, and none for countable nouns. And we can say a few and many exclusive for countable nouns. Now we can use uh, a lot, any and none for non countable and a little and much exclusive for non countable, right? Okay, good. Whew. This topic is difficult. Now let's go to the, to the, to the platform, right? Let's go to the platform. Give me a second. Here we go. Okay, one, two, three, here, right? Okay, so we're going to go to 3.6. No, 3.8. 3.8. Let me see. Quantifier, who, how many, how much? But, sorry, I forgot something. We're going to uh, read some commentary, right? Commentaries, before we start with the class or with the platform, right? 3.3, commentaries. It's opening, opening, opening. Come on, internet, you can do it. You can do it. Oh, again, it's... My internet is slow, sorry. Okay, now, 3.3, right? Uh, well, this is the class of yesterday. There is, there are, right? One, any, and some. Okay, now we're going to read the comment. Only Rolando? Okay. Tal vez no se me han cargado los demás. Vamos a leer solo el de Rolando. The National Library, Library is in front of the Gerardo Barrios Park and next to the mortgage bank in the center of the city. Okay, good explanation, right? But do not forget the capital letter, right, Rolando? No se le olvide las, las mayúsculas, the capital letter. Yes, sure. Okay, good. And thank you for your commentary. So, no more commentaries. Let's go to the class. 3.6 today, conversation, right? Now, please, listen to the conversation. In this session, participants will listen to a conversation about a neighborhood. Hi again. This time we'll study how many and how much. Please notice how they ask questions and how they answer them. Remember, count nouns and non-count nouns make the difference. How do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. Downtown? Is there much noise? Oh, no, there isn't any. I live on the fifth floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot. In fact, there's an excellent Korean place just around the corner. 
What about parking? Well, there aren't many parking garages, but I usually find a place on the street. Is there much crime? No, it's pretty safe. Hold on. That's my car alarm. I'll call you back later. Okay. <laughs> Sorry for <laughs> Pam, right? Sorry. Okay. Now, it happened in Sacamil sometime, believe me. Good. Now, we're going to go to the video quantifier, right? How many and how much? Listen, please pay attention to the video. Two. Quantifiers. Okay. View. In this session, we will take a look at quantifiers to ask questions and give our answers. Get ready to listen and take notes if you need to. Quantifiers. How many and how much? Count nouns. Are there many restaurants? <coughs> yes, there are a lot. Yes, there are a few. No, there aren't many. No, there aren't any. No, there are none. How many restaurants are there? There are 10 or 12. Non-count nouns. Is there much crime? Yes, there's a lot. Yes, there's a little. No, there isn't much. No, there isn't any. No, there's none. How much crime is there? There's a lot of street crime. We can say that when nouns in question are count nouns, we can answer using a lot, a few, many, any, none. This will depend on how many there really are. Remember, a lot is a big amount and none is nothing. When nouns in question are non-count nouns, we can use a lot, a little, much, any, none. Remember that when we talk about non-count nouns, both questions and answers are singular. Hello to all of you. Okay. In this session, we will take a look at quantify both questions and answers are singular. Okay, give me a second, please. Sorry, I will explain this. Okay, here, right? Okay, now, uh, like you hear in the video, right? A lot means a big quantity and none is zero, nothing, right? Then a few, right? And many are exclusive for nouns. And a little and much are exclusive for non count noun, right? But you can say a lot, any, and none for both, countable and non countable, right? But remember that many and much are to make questions number one and in negative sentences right negative also any for example you can say uh, uh, are there any let me say is there is there much juice on, in their fridge so you say there aren't any right or you can say um for example, there aren't much, right? There isn't much, excuse me. There isn't much. There isn't any, there isn't much. Okay, good. When you talk about juice, again, is there much juice in the refrigerator? And you say, no, there isn't much, or no, there isn't many, right? But if you talk about countable nouns, you can say, for example, uh, are there any any are there many cars on the street and you say uh no there aren't many or no there aren't any cars on the street you know so many any much and any the same right are used in negative statement right good now again a few and many or no uh, for count nouns a little and much for non count Many and any and much and any are used for negative, right? A lot means a big quantity, right? And none means nothing, nothing, right? This is the use of non-countable and countable noun, right? Now, uh, let me see and show you the knowledge check, right? 
knowledge. Good. Now here, I need you to pay attention when it's countable and when it's not countable. And according to that, we're going to use many or much, right? So, example, number one, noise. Do you think noise is countable or not countable? Ana Maria? Noise. Uh, not countable. Please. No countable, right? So in this case, you're going to use the word, no voy a decir cuál, ¿verdad? Porque ustedes lo saben. The word that means much or many, right? Much or many. One of these words here, right? You can copy much or you can copy many. Right? Okay? Good. Don't copy a uh, many noise or much noise, right? Because noise is here, right? No vamos a cometer el error de repetir la palabra noise, porque ya está ahí. Solo vamos a poner o many o much, okay? There is. Okay? There is. There is tampoco se pone, solo se pone o many o much. Now, restaurants. Countable no countable? Restaurants. Countable, ok. So, entonces ponemos una de estas. O much o many. No le voy a decir, ustedes tienen que saber. Ok, crime. Crime is countable or no countable? No countable. No countable, no countable correct. Traffic? No countable. No countable. Apartment buildings? Countable. Countable. Countable, ok. Good. That's it. Right now, uh, here you're going to say a few and a little. Remember, a few is for countable and a little is for non-countable, right? Simple like that. Now let's go. And again, don't copy there is or don't copy pollution. Only copy a few here, right? A few, oops. Or copy a little, right? Oops, a little. Only the two options, right? Now, pollution is countable or not countable? No countable. No, no countable. countable. Shopping centers? Shopping centers? Countable. 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 Schools? Schools? Countable. Countable. Parking? No countable. No countable. Traffic lights? I mean, semaphore, right? Traffic lights? Contable. Uh -huh. Sorry? Contable. Contable, right? Traffic lights are contable. Light is not contable. Solo la, la, la luz, right? Light, no contable. But in this case, we're talking about semaphore or traffic lights. Okay. Se I mean, in English, they say semaphore, semaphore, but uh, uh, culturally, they say traffic lights or they say the light. The light was red, the light was green, you know, that's why the way they say, right? Traffic lights. So these are contable, right? Okay. So that's it. And we have a reading only, right? Reading exercise. Just read and answer. What is the exercise about? The que trata el ejercicio? Listen, read the article, then check the things you can find in a story, right? There are six. Vamos a leer y uh, hay una ciudad que se llama Astoria, que está en, en New York, right? Y ustedes van a ir chequeando las cosas que hay en Astoria, right? Entonces le van a dar un cheque aquí o aquí, etcétera, etcétera, right? There are only six things. Solo hay seis cosas. Solo le van a dar cheque a seis cosas. ¿Cuáles son esas cosas? Pues hay que leer el, el artículo, ¿verdad? Ya no lo leemos juntos porque ya se nos fue el tiempo. Ok, eh, como siempre les voy a mandar el, el, el PowerPoint presentation al grupo, ¿verdad? Y uh, si hay una pregunta extra, pues con gusto les voy a, les voy a contestar ahí en el, en el WhatsApp, ¿verdad? Ok. So, uh, any question before we finish? No. no question. Thank you, Brenda. Thank you, everybody. So see you tomorrow. Remember, tomorrow. Goodbye. Goodbye. God bless you.
tomorrow, tomorrow have classes. Tomorrow. Yes, yes, we have classes, but only the test. Okay. Only the test. The topic is the test, right? So goodbye. Goodbye. Okay. Bye, bye, teacher. Bye, 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 bye Dino. Bye, bye, Dino. Bye, bye. <laughs> bye, bye.